thought I would make a video explaining how the mechanics work on a vintage Carl Griesbaum Whistler. When I say Whistler, I'm talking about one of these. So when the mechanism is installed, the, the hobo will actually rotate his carved head. And the mechanism goes in there. So I already repaired and fully serviced this mechanism. It's actually really cool. You notice the whistle is longer and um, it's thinner. So it has a smaller uh, whistle diameter than a singing bird box. So we're gonna start this off and then you can hear the tune that it plays. So what happens, similar to a singing bird box movement, you have cams on the bottom of the going barrel and there are levers that fall in and then raise, you know, as it hits the, the cam set and you have two of them. One cam set controls the whistle pitch. As this arm goes out, it produces a deeper note. So it's similar concept to a trombone. So inside the whistle, there's a plunger. And then the other lever, this little paddle here hits this tiny little rod and that allows the air pressure to escape from the top bellows reservoir into an air chamber and then through the whistle. And then this lever, of course, you know, pumps the two-stage bellows. So let's do this again. Cool. The song it sings is uh, uh, Oh Augustine, uh, but I remember this tune from that uh, that uh, children's song about Lassie. You know, da -na 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 Lassie, a Lassie, a Lassie, something like that. Okay. So also, when the mechanism is running and installed in the movement, you see here is a little rod, and when the mechanism is turned on this rod here protrudes out, okay? And why that's important, if you look inside here, so the whistlers actually have batteries, giant batteries, that power the lamp, okay? And while the whistler is playing, that brass arm is gonna complete the circuit and then the lamp post will light up as well. So, I cleaned up all the connections and to test the lamp post, all you need to do, okay, I should probably show the light here. So we'll go on this side and then the light comes on. And all I'm doing here is by using these brass tweezers is I am completing the electrical circuit between this metal piece and this metal piece, touching one, doesn't do anything. So again, when the movement is in, it's touching this metal piece, then that little arm comes out, touches this metal piece, this does the same thing, completes the circuit, and so now I know that when I reinstall the movement, it's all gonna work. So I just thought that'd be kinda cool. Let's do it one more time here, because I, I love the song. Take care.